In this video, I want to show you a basic example of a form, uh, and I'll show you how to style the form, things like that. But this video will not cover elements like uh, form submission to like a server or database or form processing. Uh, this is mainly just for the front end portion, how to just create a form and how to style it. Uh, you may be using a CMS such as uh, WordPress that can um, have plugins that can create the forms on the fly for you. And all you need to do is target the labels and inputs and text area tags, things like that, and style it. So this is what this who this video is for. So let's go ahead and start with uh, just creating the HTML tags that we're going to need uh, for our form. So we won't need the JavaScript panel at all. So let's minimize that. And okay, so we want to create a form tag, close form tag. And first thing we want to do is create a label for uh, let's call this one first name. Oops, let me make sure to capitalize that cool and let's create an input uh, with the type of text and an ID of first name so what's with the ID and what's with the four uh, attributes here so the reason for that is that this label needs to be connected to this input tag so when I click on this first name uh, label it selects the input corresponding input so very important to do that for each uh, element in your form so let's create another label for last name cool and let's create an input as well input type of text id equals last name excellent and the next thing we want to create is label for let's say email for example close this okay input type of email so that's important now you'll get a content aware uh, keyboard for instance on your smartphone it'll have the at symbol things like that and i believe it also check to see if the person entered the email address correctly so very important to change that type to email so we'll give this an id of email as well and let's create a label for phone telephone close label Give this an input type of tell for telephone. Also, you get a content aware keyboard, so the keyboard should look differently on a smartphone. Uh, excellent. Uh, let's give this an ID of phone. Okay. So we should be able to click on each of these labels and get the corresponding IDs selected, just like that. Excellent. And you'll notice that everything's on the same line, so because each of these elements are inline level elements. So we'll address that once we get to the CSS portion. And the last item I'm going to create is a label for. And we'll just create message right here. And instead of uh, input, this is going to be a text area ID message. And we just need to close this text area. This is not a self closing text, and so make sure to do that as well. And there's our message. And the last input of type uh, submit. And this will be our value send excellent okay now we can jump into styling this form so there's many different ways to style it we have this form tag which can act as our container so let's go ahead and target that form tag probably should add a class to it actually class um, let's call it a submission form excellent oops <clears throat> target that Let's go ahead and give this a max width, and I'll just give it 500 pixels, and let's go ahead and center this as well. Two rems auto. There it is. I'm going to give this a border of two pixels solid, and let's go ahead and pick out a color from our palette here. Uh, let's go with this orange reddish color here. Cool. Put that in place. So we should get a nice border around there. So let's, let's add a padding to this as well. Excellent. So the one easiest way to do this because we want to get these labels just maybe up here above each of the tags. So let's go ahead and target that as well. I'm actually going to switch this to SAS so you can follow along. Okay, it's not that much different from traditional CSS as well. So and I'll have a link to uh, a SAS uh, introduction. So if you're interested in that as well. So inside of here, I want to target each of the labels. I'm going to do some nesting. Give this a display of block. 
Okay, that should put everything, there you go. And we also wanna target the input and text area. And I also wanna give that a display of block as well. So that'll give us this nice uniform look. Uh, what I wanna do is each of these inputs and text areas, I wanna give this a width of 100%. Okay, there you go. And what I wanna do is now target this last one here with the ID of, oh, we didn't get this an ID. Let's give this an ID ID of uh, send BTN. I'll do a camel case for the ID. There you go, send button. So let's go ahead and target that send button. Okay, so with these buttons, we can actually give it a border of zero. Let's give it a background color. Let's look in here. I think this uh, purple one looks pretty good. Let's go with that one here. Perfect. We can also give this a padding. I'll give it a 0.5 rem. So there you go. We give it a color. We hit return. Oh, there we go. Color of, let's give this uh, white. Excellent. <coughs> let's also give this a margin. So it offsets it just a little bit. Uh, one RAM from the top, there we go. And really I don't want this to be 100% per se, so let's give this a width of auto. So there you go. And let's do text transform uppercase. There you go. And let's give this a hover effect as well. Okay, so when somebody hovers over this, the colors will change on that button. So in this case, let's go with these. This uh, let's go with this brighter blue here. Copy that. So I want to change the background color to that blue color. So if we look at this now, we'll see a nice blue color here. One thing you may notice: this button doesn't have that cursor, so you can actually do that as well. Cursor pointer. So that way you get this little pointer here. Uh, make sure to save this as well. So form fields uh, with styles so if you do if you follow along code pen don't forget to save i know it does an auto save uh, after your initial save but don't forget to save cool so let's style the other fonts as well i'm going to target the body tag font family sans serif i really don't like serif fonts personal preference give this a padding up and down 0.5 left and right zero so nice little spacing out maybe from the top we could add additional uh, right will be zero and we can actually erase this little shorthand here perfect okay maybe we can change this to text transform uppercase and font size maybe a little bit smaller there you go uh, i'm thinking we should bring this a little bit closer so there you go Excellent. So now we want to target these input tags as well in the text here just to make that uniform as well. We have a selection input text right over here. We can give this a border of two pixel solid. And let's look back to our color palette here. Let's maybe put this darker blue here. Copy that. Let's paste that in as well. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, cool. And let's give this a padding of 0.25 rem. All right, uh, maybe it's a little bit more padding, and that's gonna be the padding inside these elements. So when you type in here, you can have a nice padding as well. Uh, we can also change the font size, maybe 618 instead of 16 pixels. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that looks nice and uh, legible, excellent. Okay, and you can actually even select these, both of the text area and the input tags and give it a border radius. Uh, five pixels there you go and now you have a nice clean or uniform uh, input and tags and I also maybe want to include that border radius around the actual form tag uh, uh, form tag as well uh, and that's it you can go so far as to create some transitions maybe for the color change on the button so as you could see that although this is a form with inputs and uh, labels and things like that they're just like any other HTML tag they can be styled any way you wish uh, just by targeting them so transition 0.3 seconds uh, we'll do background color uh, change so background element and we'll give this an ease so if we mouse over that, you see a nice little transition. And that's it.